Hello my fellow comic book collectors. Today's a very special day for me. <laughs> it's my birthday. Um, and I'm turning 49 today. Uh, so um, I've been collecting comics since I was a kid. And I want to show you um, and maybe tell you some stories about my birthday. <laughs> uh, I want to show you uh, some of the comics that I love and some of the things that are in my collection that I love. Um, not just comics, I'm going to show you some other stuff that is kind of cool that I, I really love and that I just wanted to show, just for fun. This is a bit of show and tell um, and I you know, figured, hey, why not do something a little different f for my birthday? So, um, and the way I really want to celebrate my birthday is hanging out in this room, talking with you guys, um, and just, you know, celebrating the day. I just want to have a kind of easygoing day, <laughs> like a really easygoing day. And the reason for that is actually I have to tell you um, a little story. Uh, it's actually multiple stories, but um, my birthday, for some reason, is cursed. Hopefully uh, the world will not end today <laughs> because that would be very typical for my birthday. Uh, so to give you some background, um, for some reason, I don't know why, but weird things always happened on my happen on my birthday. So for example, uh, a few years back, I, I got in a car accident on my birthday. Uh, another birthday, I was like down with pneumonia and I lost like 10 pounds and was like <laughs> pretty, pretty deathly at the time. Uh, another birthday, um, my daughter, she almost died on my birthday. Uh, we had to rush her to the emergency room on my birthday <laughs> where, you know, they basically treated her like a burn victim. She had like this weird bacteria that just was eating her. <laughs> like it was crazy. And that was on my birthday. Uh, <laughs> and um, there was another day where, uh, another birthday where my my uncle, who I've never met actually, strangely enough, but I'm named after him, uh, he died on my birthday. <laughs> Uh, and then what else happened on my birthday? Uh, two years ago, I had COVID on my birthday. Uh, so that was fun. <laughs> I lost my sense of smell. I was really sick. Went to the hospital on my birthday again. Um, so usually something kind of weird, something a little bit bad happens on my birthday. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why that is. But my birthday seems to be a bit cursed. So today I kind of want a low-key birthday and to sort of hang out hopefully talk comics and, you know, things that I enjoy on my birthday. And hopefully it'll be a good birthday for me. So um, I just wanted to tell you that weird story. Um, but I want to show you some cool stuff. So I want to show you uh, first the comic that got me into comics in terms of collecting, really making me a comic collector. And it was this one right here. And I've told the story many times in previous videos, but I'll tell it once more just because it's my birthday I can do whatever I want uh, <laughs> and the the story behind it is I I collected coins and I, I really love coins and I like comics actually I did like you know I would read like Uncle uh, Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck and like you know a lot of gold key comics and when I went into the comic shop for some reason like I not comic shop I went into my local coin store there was like this little coin uh shop that i would go to and this was on the wall and i was like wow you know why is a comic on the wall i'd even you know i didn't think of comics as having any like particular value and uh you know the dealer said oh it's the you know it's the first howard the duck and blah 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 it was like ten dollars i always remember how much exactly how much it was because i saved up the money to buy it and because i was so enamored by it I just loved it because you know I even when I was a little kid I, I liked good girl art and this had that sort of sexy red Sonia kind of look to it and then um you know Howard the Duck kind of kind of like Disney Duck kind of like you know and uh he's like carrying a sword so I kind of like that whole thing and then it has Spider-Man on it just had so many things going for it which just sort of really made me intrigued by it and the fact that it was a number one at the time, like the way I thought about comics was, oh, the number one issue must be the most valuable. And like, you know, that that was really the way I thought when I was a kid. Um, so, yeah, this was the comic that got me into comic collecting and I still have it. So, um, I don't know. I really enjoy that comic. Um, 
Now, I want to show you some coins because I love coins. I actually really do love collecting coins. And I'm a t total geek. <laughs> so not only do I like coins, but I actually like themed coins. So coins that have like some kind of weird theme. And one of my favorite sets that I have, and I, I got this actually from the Mint itself in Canada, is this one. It's the Star Wars uh, Millennium Falcon coin set and i'll show it to you it's just really it is really cool i don't open it often because um it's one of those ones where it has like some cool it has some really cool things and i if you play with it too much <laughs> it will like the batteries will die it has batteries so um here it is it's like a little little millennium falcon <laughs> it's just so cool okay so it's like a millennium falcon I actually, um, I think, one sec here, let me get the sounds going. Hopefully I can get the sound still, hopefully the sound still works. Um, cause I might've played with it too much. Oh yeah, can you hear that? See, and then here's all the coins inside. I just thought it was a really nice coin set. I, I really liked the original Star Wars. I was a big fan. I watched the original Star Wars like maybe, oh, it's going to keep on making noise, <laughs> 20, 30 times. You know, I, you know, it's like one of those movies that you watch a lot. Now it's just going to make sounds all the time. And it has like all the, all the characters. So I thought that was really cool. Okay. Now it's just, shush. <laughs> it's like, that won't shut up. Okay. So that, you know, I really love that set. And it's like, uh, you know, one of my favorite coin sets, even though not particularly valuable or anything like that. It's, it's just, I just thought it was just cool, I, you know, because it is Star Wars. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here. And um, so I, I wanted to show you some more things that I truly enjoy. Um, I got this actually just last year and it was, <laughs> it's, like, it's a silly comic. It's not like, it's not one that most people would even real know or recognize but it's one that i go on about a lot because i i love it so much <laughs> it's zombie tramp number one the first print and this is the first appearance of zombie tramp it is a dan mendoza uh uh comic and it's just a really rare hard to find comic and i have only seen this ever ever offered once and this is the copy so uh and it's signed by the artist um so just a really great uh <laughs> comic that i really like really rare really hard to find i think there's less than 10 of these on the census that's how rare it is um just a really great comic i i you know it's one that i really like <laughs> so i i have to show it um and if you watched yesterday's video i was talking about cool Nazi covers, which is kind of a weird topic. But um, actually, one of my favorite comics in my collection is this comic from the ones that I showed yesterday. So I wanted to show it again. And it's Hensi. I just love this comic. I think it's the greatest thing. I think it's so interesting. I just like the juxtaposition between Hensi looking so innocent and charming and the evil Nazis in the background. I just think that's really interesting. I just I love that kind of uh, just a position thing. Uh, so it's just really cool. I just, yeah, I really like Hensi. Uh, it's a really good comic, and it's one that I truly recommend to read. Um, another big book, like, so that's not a huge book, to tell you the truth, but uh, a, book, a big book that I did get last year, and I was super excited about it, and, like, had to sort of hide the receipts kind of idea from my wife <laughs> because it was pretty expensive. Um, but I did a live video about it and it was this one. Uh, Sensation Comics number one. I love this comic. Uh, it's one of those ones that I'm a big Wonder Woman fan and this is just like the comic for me um, of all of them in a way because it's the first cover appearance of Wonder Woman. And it's just, it's got that real golden age charm to it where you know she's kind of leaping into action she's bouncing bullets off her bracelets and it's just really great i i just think it's really interesting it's very old school style for her costume as well her costume has changed over the years um and i just think it's really interesting so that's 
one of my favorite comics. And actually, um, I more like I, I learned more about this comic as well. I actually I should mention there's a bunch of first appearances in this comic, so I didn't even realize how great this comic was. Just other than the Wonder Woman aspect, this is the first appearance of Wire a Wildcat. And the first uh, appearance of Mr. Uh, Fantastic. <laughs> so it's it's got like so many things going on. Uh, it's just a really great, great book. And if you're not familiar with Wildcat, um, the character is in um, Stargirl. Uh, she's, they, they have the modern version of her, of, of Wildcat. Wildcat was originally a guy, but um, in the new, star girl series they have it as yolanda martez martez um and then she, she she was in introduced in another comic but uh she plays the character wildcat um another thing that i really enjoy that i got uh recently as well <laughs> um and it's just like one of my favorite alex schomburg covers is and i got this from uh my good friend keston <laughs> shout out to keston and old you got to check out his channel, Keston's Old School Comics. Really great channel, way undersubscribed. Everyone should go over there and subscribe to his channel because it's that great. Um, but he sold me this book. One sec. Uh, he sold me this book, and um, it is like just one of my favorite Alex Schomburg covers. It just has all the <laughs> typical Alex Schomburg elements to it. It has the girl in distress. Like she's like, she's like, you know, in bondage. She's going to get sliced in half, <laughs> you know? And the thing is, I like the miniaturized women too. I think that's kind of cool. Um, she's like under the microscope, literally under the microscope. And um, you got the hero in the background with a little wimpy gun. And, you know, that's so typical Alex Schomburg. For some reason with Alex Schomburg, there's always the hero that's in the background. And he's ready to kind of come in and rescue the girl or person or whatever it is. But uh, he's always underpowered. <laughs> he's just got this wimpy little gun. He's going up against a giant. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but it's a really great, <laughs> really great cop cover. And this is like one of his airbrush covers. So it's really just, I love it. So really glad to have that in my collection. And another channel... Um, uh, you know, another guy that, uh, sold me a really great comic is, um, Automatic Comics. And he, he sold me this one. And this is Junior, uh, Ryan from Automatic Comics. Uh, Junior 15. This is a really hard to find book. Um, I've seen it offered once. <laughs> and, um, the time that I saw it offered, uh, I thought I could get it elsewhere cheaper. Like somebody said that, oh, they had it. And then they realized they didn't have it. So I did, I missed out on the bid on this comic. And it just happened that it was Alex that bought it. Not Alex, uh, uh, Brian <laughs> uh, bought it from Automatic Comics. And then I saw that he was selling it for some reason. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. So I worked out a deal with him, gave me a really good deal on it. And um, I was able to pick it up. So <laughs> I ended up getting it anyways. And we didn't have to outbid each other on... Um, heritage auctions in order to get it so that that's a good thing uh so i really enjoy this one it's like a al, um, al felstein cover and it's from 1948 it's just a really great you know good girl headlight cover uh from 1948 it's just a you know i love these golden age books i just i think they're the greatest uh speaking of golden age books another one that i really like um is this one another one I just recently got? These are all Golden Age stuff that I'm going to be showing. Is um, uh, the Blonde Phantom first appearance? And I just I love it because of a whole bunch of ish reasons for the reason I love this book. Uh, I love the fact that it's a really good cover of her. It's just like her like her very strong first appearance cover. I like the fact that it's in the title that it, it announces that she's there. You know, <laughs> and it's um, this is all select t eleven. I was going to say 10, but it's 11. Um, and I like the fact that it's signed by mom. <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, mom approved. Uh, so yeah, just a really great cover. Really enjoy it. Um, and I'm happy to have that in my collection. Another one that I really like, um, and this is one that I've, 
I, you might actually see it. I'm not sure if I've shown the unboxing video yet for this, but I'm going to show it anyway. So this is like, you know, almost like a preview. <laughs> uh, it's Torchy. Uh, this is Torchy number four from 1950. And this is just a really great cover. Like, you know, great good girl cover. You know, she's like uh, visiting a, you know, a Marine base and all the, all the Marines are checking her out. <laughs> I just think it's really cool. So, uh, yeah, I just, I just really like that. You know, she's in a bikini too. Can't go wrong. Uh, now, a couple other things that I wanted to show, and then I'll wrap up this video. It's, I'm just keeping it short, just, just for fun. Uh, it's one of my favorite little items. <laughs> I always have this, like, in my, uh, on my wall, and I always look at it. And it's a little, my little Vampirella. This is from Warren Publishing. And, um, they basically had like a, a deal with Aurora models and they would do all these different ones. And one of the ones that they did was uh, Vampirella. And it's just a, and this one is actually quite nice. I have two of this. Uh, one is un, like unbuilt and this one was professionally like painted and everything. Uh, normally when you get them, they're not uh, painted. Like they're, they're just bare, I guess. Uh, this one was professionally painted, and I just really like it. The way that they did the face and uh, the way that they did the boots are really great. So I really like this. And, it, and it's really rare to get the little bat. The bat always gets lost, so this is <laughs> it's really nice that it's complete. And I just really enjoy this this model. It's, you know, <laughs> it's very simple, but I enjoy it. I really like it. Um, and then the last thing, I just wanted to... You know, say maybe this was an early birthday gift because I, I got it only a few weeks ago. Is uh this one? This is from uh Kiwi, who's a you know a friend of mine on the channel. Um, he always comments on the videos. Actually, yesterday's video was kind of dedicated to him because it was his idea. <laughs> it's his idea to do to the, to do the Nazi covers. So uh, yeah. give him a little shout out for that. Um. But uh, this is just a really cool Funko. I'm a big fan of Wonder Woman. And this is like a really cool one because it's a glow in the dark. She's in sort of like a little action pose. I'm not sure if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. But she's just, you know. And it's, a, and it's an exclusive. You know, some rare exclusive. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's super valuable or anything. But I think it's cool. I, I really like it. So um, I always have this next to my Vampirella, <laughs> like when on the on the on the shelf. It's kind of what I do. Um, so that has been my kind of explanation of my birthday curse. Hopefully, it's not. I'm not going to be cursed in the future. And um, happy birthday to me, I guess. <laughs> kind of weird to, to say happy birthday to yourself, but um, if you want to give me a birthday gift. And this is my ask for the for the audience that are watching this. All I ask, this is my birthday gift that I want from you, <laughs> if you can give me this one favor, uh, is to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That's all I ask. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.